your girl crush back with another episode of podcast crush real people real topics real talk and today i got my girl kiana from pit bull jewels she's here to talk to us about her business her journey in entrepreneurship and we got some exciting topics today so make sure y'all stay tuned because this video is gonna be fire what up kiana what's up what's up Introduce yourself. I'm Kiana, and here for my <laughs> business, my business, Pendant Board Jewel. I make okay. custom pendants. Wow, like, okay, so when I met you at the pop-up shop, I was, like, really uh, intrigued by, like, all you guys at the pop-up shop is, like, really uh, passionate about what you guys are doing, and for you to be actually putting together pendants and jewels for people like that is amazing how did you get into that um uh, i got into it around covid couldn't leave the house i started doing some research on youtube i spent that's what i spent my money going toward because i believed in five years from then it was going to be prosperous like big yeah. In five years from now, we're going to expand even more. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, um, how how do you go about making a pandemic? Um, I basically, I do a lot of shaping. Like, I memorize the shaping of the dependent and the photo. And I use canvas a lot. Oh. And that's really so, it. You have to print the picture and like make it a certain size and then put it, place put the it cap inside up. the pendant. Yeah, I use the um this they come with a shaper, shape the picture out to each pendant, and I use like some adhesive. So okay. I don't tell everybody my trick. Oh yeah, you can't tell them, you can't <laughs> tell them everything. You can't tell them everything. You gotta just mm -hmm. give them a love sauce. Just give them a little dab of the sauce. Uh -huh. You know, don't give them half the bottle. Just give them a little taste. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay. So who who you be having working with you? Like, where, how how you keep the business going? You you a uh, you a one woman show or you got help? Um, I do I do the work myself, but during delivery, my husband does the delivery sometimes. Okay. Okay, so your husband do the drop offs and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, yo, Nino, that camera roll. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Um, so as far as your goals for the future with your business, like what do you really see yourself like um uh, forming into with this business? Um, my next step is traveling. Okay. Um, cause I make them on site. A lot of people really, you don't get these on uh, site. You get them like three weeks to a month. Okay. Anywhere. So that's a big, like, that's huge to get them. I'm going to say, you must be really good if you do yeah, my time. Like went, my timing went from like over the past four years from two hours to like 30 minutes. To complete a whole pendant. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Because I've I've Thank heard you. of people getting those pendants done and it's taking days, like oh, yeah, no. let alone a 30 minute, like that's what's up. Yeah. So uh so how do you stay motivated to keep going? And like, what's your inspiration? My kids. I've been, like, my son, he be like my model for different ones I get and stuff. And he like what I do. I'm waiting till he get like a few more age because I deal with like a blade. Just don't want to be cutting up on itself. But my kids, they see me make a chain every day. They get excited. <laughs> How old, how old are your children? 
11 and 2. Oh, 11 and 2? You only got two? Yeah. Look at you. You knew when to stop, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? I'm about to be 30 next month. Oh, you still in your 20s? Mm hmm Oh, so now you might have another one or two. You might have one or two more. <laughs> Might. You might have a couple more. Uh -uh. So do you consider yourself uh, more entrepreneur minded than before? Or did you yeah. always have like <clears throat> um, some type of drive to, to be your own boss? Um, I have another business. I always had to drive. Um. I work jobs, but jobs just work for me. I'll leave the same day. Like, I do banquet setups, too. So, this was like an add-on. And this took over everything. So, it's my top business. Okay, so you make more doing this than you do um, in the banquet, setting up the banquets? Mm -hmm. I make more doing this than anything I do. What all you do, die, die. Now I'm, cu now I'm curious to know. I, I, know do, a lot of, I do a lot of crafting. Um, oh, okay. I mess with making t-shirts and stuff. But So you like busy. a real creative type person. Like you like to create things mm -hmm. like from scratch. Yeah. Like a bear cab is nothing. Yeah. And turn like it into something. My, work on my hands. So have you always been like that as a child? Was you uh always into uh like building stuff with your hands or creating? Mm -hmm. draw, do you draw yeah. it all? Yeah. Oh, you do? See, so, yeah. I find that most creative people like you that like to work with your work with your hands, they draw. Mm -hmm. They got some type of drawing skill or something yeah. like that as well. So, uh, are you, uh, looking to, like, merge with another brand with Pendy Bulls? Mm -mm. Okay, you're going to stay by yourself? Yeah. And then, so your, your ultimate goal, when I asked you at the pop-up shop, was to uh, get a storefront. Yeah. So, like, that's your main focus right now? Um, nope, not even right now. Like, still doing the where I'm doing at. Like, home is, the money is there. So, like a you storefront, ain't got it. I just want to make sure I'm really ready for a storefront. Not get it, then don't have it in a few months. Like right. keep the bar broke. So the pendants are made of what type of material? I have all different type of brands, like some of them custom, some of them real, like some plated. It's the depending on each pendant, like you pick. Oh, so you do real ones too? Yeah. Like 18K oh you go. Okay. Like, This would be What's, considered one of my real ones. It's like oh, a fending wow. pen. A fending pen. That boy crispy. And like this kind of be like just a custom piece. Oh wow. I like that. I like Thanks. that one with the angel wings. I could get something like that for uh my mom and my brother. Uh it's like the newest one. Oh wow, that's lit. Right now we got 140 pieces. I'm trying to get to like 500 before the summer over. So you had 140 pieces that you have handcrafted? Uh and order, pre-order, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, so, what do you think about, are, are you into music at all? 
<laughs> so what you think about all this beef and all this drama that's going on with the rap girls and right now with the rap boys with Drake and all of them? What do you, what is your take on all this drama in the industry? Do you feel like it's uh for sales and promo and all that type of shit? Or do you think it's like real beef and these people got real problems with each other? I think it's real. But they got too much money to be acting a fool. I don't even worry about it. I don't get any. I, I read the comments and I stroll on. So y'all y'all never be like in the comments like this mm -hmm. shit don't make no damn sense. No, I just read other people's comments. <laughs> I said okay. I don't know. So, yeah. so you just read the comments, you don't get involved. <laughs> they messy. Mm -mm. Okay, okay. I feel you on that. Cause I'll be saying the same thing you saying, like all this money y'all got in this y'all that board, like this is all y'all can <laughs> do, like. Yeah, y'all ain't got shit else to do. Rich and bored as hell. No. <laughs> so, how can the people reach you if they want to uh, get a pendant made? I use Facebook marketing a lot, like okay, that experience, like in Instagram, but really, it's okay. not marketing. Okay, so you don't have a website, but you they can reach out to you on Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, or I used to have cards when I started, so some people still got my number. Okay. And, or like doing the pop up shop now, I get a lot of they just follow me and go on Instagram or something. Oh, okay. So you you do a lot of pop up shops. Yeah. Okay. So you be uh you be uh getting a lot of your orders from um uh, Instagram. Marketing, Facebook marketing. Oh, Facebook marketing, more right. more than Instagram. Yeah. Oh, okay, but oh, okay, all right. Because I know I see you on Instagram. You follow me on the gram. Oh yeah. I um I get some on there, but the marketing is, that's where really... that's your that's your one. Mm -hmm. That's your that's one too. I, my out of town orders come from there too. Oh wow! So people go on there looking for uh jewelry makers, pendant makers, and they be like, okay, pendant mm -hmm. bull. Pendant boy right here. <laughs> That's a cute name. You want to tell us a little bit more about the name of your business and how you uh how you got it? Um, they all are pendants. Um, I'm a tourist, so that's where the bull came from. And I didn't really want to say jewelry, so I just said jewels. Okay. So, so you a tourist. Mm -hmm. A bull head, a bull headed ass tourist. <laughs> you know, y'all yeah. uh birthday is coming up. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yes. It's about to be tourist season. Y'all about to be acting you, up. You know it. Yes, I am already. <laughs> <laughs> Where your birthday? May seventeenth. May seventeenth. You almost a Gemini. Mm -mm, don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got something against Gemini? No, but uh, -uh. uh, -uh yes, you do. And you see, I'm a Gemini. Don't be doing Man. us like that. Yeah. <laughs> I <got you> Gemini. <laughs> so, you know, in astrology, like the signs that's like four to five days away from the next sign is considered to be on the cusp. So you are on the cusp. What is it? The twenty first or the twenty second? That stop it. Uh, is it the 25th? I, I thought it was the 21st. I thought the 20th was the last day. Was it? One well, no, I'm within the 20th, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it's okay. I'll let you live today and let you carry on with your, with your bullheadedness. <laughs> <laughs> would you say, um, would you say you easy to get along with? Because I know some sources, they, they be saying like, they don't <laughs> Yeah, I am. With a lot of people, I am. Are you, you don't you like seem me. Easy going. You don't like me. Oh well. I yeah, am. you. But you seem easy going as hell, though. Like I'm it seems like you said to yourself, you ain't on a, you ain't on that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't on a lot of bull crap. You know what I'm saying? Years have changed. Yes. <laughs> oh, you changed. <laughs> 
You changed. Oh, okay, y'all. Y'all see the truth coming all done. She said she changed, y'all. That's what's up, though, because I changed, too. You feel me? And I feel like everybody, like, you got to give yourself room to, to change and be different. You know, you can't always, you can't stay the same always, all the time. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So that's that's the main thing right there, giving ourselves room to change. So that's that's beautiful to even hear you say that, you know, because that means that you grew up, that you grew some, and that's what life is about, right? Yeah. Yeah. So have you ever uh, been in any type of entertainment, in, entertainment business, like music or uh, acting or anything like that? Would you be interested? Would you ever consider yourself like, being in a movie or a play or anything? I was in a uh, background of a movie video, but that's it. I ain't, I can consider my service. I have thought about it. Okay. But, like getting into it. Yeah, I ain't never push it or just like, wouldn't even know where to start for real. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it seemed interesting, like something you could do. Yeah. I don't know. My friends always want me to be in their movies and stuff, and I and I, I, I always like drag my feet because I'm so fucking goofy. I just know I'm gonna fucking laugh at some shit. <laughs> in the middle of it's just, <laughs> yeah, it's just not gonna, <laughs> like I would be in there forgetting my lines, laughing and shit. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> 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 Hell no. Nah. All right, all right. So uh more about the business, more about the business. What is it? Is it anything that people should know about your business? Uh that you want to <laughs> tell them? Um, are you are you doing any sales or any discount times or anything like that? Is there anything like that the public uh don't know that you want them to know and engage with? Um, yeah, my next sale will be going towards Mother's Day. I do like buy one, buy three, get one free, any piece. So you spend a nice amount, you get almost a $200 pendant for free if that's the one you pick. Damn. Yeah. So that be then, I might give out like a set, do a ring with it. So, oh, okay. You might do something like if you buy a set, I throw one in for free. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So you would pay for two instead of one or something like that. I mean, you would pay for two instead of three, or do they pay yeah, for three? Yeah, depending on which three you buy. Like some people buy top notch, the whole three, the top notch, mm -hmm. and they four will still be top notch. So I give them a set. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. So like, instead of just giving a ring, you might give them a two piece. The whole. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's so that's nice. That's nice. Y'all see how nice Kiana is, y'all. Y'all better go over there and shop with her. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> y'all better go mess with the girl. She over there doing it. She got all those nice pieces. Kiana, show them some more pieces in the camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn, she got colors. You can see it. Yes. Uh -uh. Girl, you got so much nice stuff. Yeah. So that's the 150 that you that you were talking about, the design. Yeah. Oh, and you want to add more to it and have 500. That's what you was talking about. See, I was confused. I'm not, yeah, I don't know y'all lingo. <laughs> So different ones to choose from. I'm trying to have 500. And by the year going to Christmas, I'm going to have like a thousand. Like I get them Damn. by bulk. I get them by bulk. So like I wouldn't sell out. If I get like five, as soon as I post them, I sell out. Then I got to wait like two weeks for more to come in. Okay. So you just now you buy them in a hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Them is them sweet. I like it. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab some from you. I'm gonna be like, yep, yeah, that's my dog. Easy. So, what's 
So y'all hear that, y'all? For Mother's Day, she got a good sale going on. Make sure y'all fuck with her and uh, go over there, get your mom some nice, your baby mama, your cousin, your aunties. Get everybody some. Mom pendants. Okay? Get everybody some. She yeah. got some for everybody. <laughs> 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 yeah so on the podcast crush we got this game <clears throat> name your top comedy movie not another team movie not another team movie I was mm. not expecting that. <laughs> Dang. You said comedy. That shit funny, though. That shit That's... was funny. That shit was. I forgot about that. <laughs> um, shoot, you comedy. I ain't watched comedy like that in so long. It's just so you don't like about... comedy? No, I do. I watch it here and there, but I like Lifetime and Horror Movies. <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie? Um, like now it's like the terrifier. What? <laughs> like I like scary movies. The terrifier. Mm -hmm. It sounds terrifying. What? <laughs> Shit out to me. Cause what? Uh, hey y'all, <laughs> go watch the terrifier, and y'all come back and tell me how it was on this post. <laughs> Leave a I'm comment. Like, I'm like, this is silly shit. Oh, it's silly? <laughs> it's like, it, it's silly, but it's horror. It's like three. Three parts to it. <laughs> I like it straight. Shit, to each his own. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Hold on. Silly as hell. Who your favorite female rapper? Mm hmm. Rocky B. Okay, okay. So you fucking with the Detroit girls. You fucking yeah. with the Detroit girls. Okay, okay. So you listen to uh that's what you listen to, you listen to that a lot. Yeah. What about uh male rappers? It's a few. I like future. Future? Me too. That's crazy. I like Future a lot. Like that's it. that's my dog. That's my dog. That's my rap dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, toxic ass. All right. <laughs> that's the toxic gang child. Okay. So, uh, how would you describe your designs? Would you say they more heartfelt? Each piece, um, like, what you mean, like, for the client? Yes, like, it ain't meant to last forever, but when they see that, they they kind of iffy before they see it, but when they see they love one picture in it, like, they amazed. Like, yeah. you did this for me. I've been trying to get my loved one around me forever. Have you had some uh, really emotional reactions? Yeah, I've had people crying in front of me. Oh, wow. I know you be like, heart be I, like, oh my God. What advice would you give your uh, younger self? If I knew what I knew now, I could have been on it, but I don't got no regrets. Like, I just look back like, you live and you learn. Oh, for I, sure. I was the shit then. I was still the shit. Now you, now you even more the shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? <laughs> what uh, advice would you have for anybody coming up in this uh, industry? Just keep going. Keep going. Some days, some months may get rough or you don't make much. You don't make a dollar. But expand, 
and just keep going. Like, it ain't cheap. Some of the pieces may not be real, but it ain't cheap. Mm. It's keep so. Going. So keep going, y'all. She said, don't give up. Keep going. And I know I asked you this on the pop on the uh at the thing, the pop up shop. But I want you to tell me again, what is your five year goal for your business? Um, within five years, I will be owning maybe two storefronts. I want the, one of them to be ran by my oldest son. Okay. Yeah. It's a lightweight, so he would become the driver. Then whoever he well, he can have someone become a driver and he running the store. Okay, so you got a whole a map out for your family. It's more like a family business. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is really, really beautiful. So tell the people where they can find you at again, so they can come and shop with you. See, y'all can find me on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok at Pendant Board Jewels. That's Pendant like that. Board Jewels. Shout out to Pendant Board Jewels. Yay. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate your time. I appreciate the interview. Um, I really do uh, enjoy this sitting down with y'all, talking to y'all, hearing about y'all journey and stuff like that. I'm very uh, happy to see a black woman doing something positive and actually, you know, got some uh, motion. And doing something with it. I'm I'm happy for you. I really am. Truly from my heart. I'm very happy for you and excited for you because I know in the next five years I'm gonna see you doing some big things. And I could be like, she was on podcast crush, honey. So don't don't try. Don't come over here. Don't try me. Don't try me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Show the people to show your people your uh your appendix again just before we get out of here. Yep, y'all. Make sure y'all go shot with her. She got it all, whatever you want. Yes, oh, wow, that's so. You got watches and everything. Damn. So, yeah, make sure y'all fuck with Kiana. Pit, um, Pendant Bull Jewels. And that's a wrap. Signing off, y'all. We'll see y'all next time. See y'all.